Hi, Camp Can Do Campers. Welcome back for another great project. This is one that we always love to do in the art cave. If you know, if you've ever been to Gretna Glen for camp, you know what I'm talking about. The art room is underneath the dining hall and everybody calls it the craft cave. So just pretend you're in the art cave today and we're going to make a Camp Can Do bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet so it can fit just about anybody. It uses a lact elast elastic cord and some beads and some alphabet beads. So this is what you get in your project bag. You have the colored pony beads, they call them. And then you have the alphabet beads. You have two little small, tiny little clothespins, and I'll show you what those are for in just a minute. And then you have the letters that spell Camp Can Do. You can either do it as I have done it and string them all together, or you can put a bead in between each letter. You can put a bead in between each word. It's up to you. So we've got the colorful beads. You can put them in a little dish if you have a dish. Not, not really necessary. They're flat on one side, so they don't really roll around that much. This is your elastic cord, and it's going to be enough to go around your wrist. You, you're going to take one of the clothes pins and make sure it gets inside the little clip there. And this is going to keep your beads from falling off on one end so that when you, you've done all this great work and then it, it falls off. So once you get your beads, you're going to take the alphabet beads and spell out Camp Can Do. And what I do is I put those on first and I have to have my glasses here. So you slide through the hole and thread it through. And you wanna make sure that the letters are all going the right way. So you wanna make sure the A is not upside down or the M is not upside down. And then you thread them all on. And once you have gotten all of the Camp Can Do ones on, then you can put another clip on this end or you can put you can start putting the colored beads on and these have huge holes so you can just really string those on really quickly once you've gotten the colored ones on this side you can put the clip back on and then you can put the colored ones on the other side and then you're going to want to when it's finished like this it looks like this you're going to want to lay it over your wrist and make sure that you've gotten enough colored beads on there so it's not too loose and it's not too tight. If it is too loose, you can take the clothespins off and take a couple of beads off. If it is too tight, you can take the, the colored beads and add some more on each side. I try to make sure they're even so that the Camp Can Do will be even on my wrist. Then you're going to take the clothespins off and this is what we call a surgeon's knot. You take the two ends and you twist and you twist and then you pull really tight and then you don't want to pull really, really tight because then you'll make the beads buckle. But you want enough to where it's going to be secure and you're not going to really see that elastic. Then you're going to tie one more knot tight and one more knot very tight and that's what we call a surgeon's knot it's supposed to not ever come undone then you're going to take the scissors and cut off the excess take your glue put a little dot of glue on there and then slide it inside the bead next to it so that you won't see that knot that should take about 10 or 15 minutes to dry then you can put it on your wrist and you're ready to go